Fox News is a closed society. They do not have anyone on Fox who disagrees with them. None of these people venture into the public square to have actual debates. So they lie without yeah. consequence. And they've done it for years, and it's just gotten more and more extreme. They're absolutely boxed in, but 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 they don't care, right? They know they can lie to their viewers. Their viewers expect right. to be lied to. Uh, and, and so this, this is their cushion that they've always had. That was media critic Eric Bullert doing what he did best during his last appearance on this very show just a few months ago. Eric Bullert had an incredible career, coming to prominence at a really crucial time in the development of progressive media. He began monitoring right-wing misinformation during the George W. Bush years, especially after 9-11 and the run-up to the Iraq War. That was when the virulence and destructive force of Fox News was married to a larger, insanely uncritical media apparatus, all marching us towards a horrible war. In the beginning, it felt like there was no pushback. But over time, a new media ecosystem grew up on the blogosphere, as it was called at this time, on this network, in this hour, and with the founding of the nonprofit group Media Matters, all working to try to rebalance the scales away from that lockstep monoculture. And one of the most prominent people to come out of that world was Eric, Eric Bullard, writing first for Salon and then for Media Matters. Bullard's method began simply by just watching Fox News and talking about what he saw. These are some of those early pieces rebuking Fox for its dishonest coverage and close ties to the Bush White House. And Bullard regularly shared his prescient insights as he foresaw much of what we have seen come from the right in recent years. This is a rush to the gutter from the right, 48 hours after, you know, the Supreme Court nominee. <laughs> and, and we're talking about if she's got a racist or not, based on a sentence from a speech eight years ago. This is really but, pathetic. But, you know if you think it back uh, during inauguration week, Rush Limbaugh made headlines busy because he said he hoped uh, Barack Obama failed. And looking back, that is now incredibly benign. Andrew Breitbart, Fox News, they pretend they're sort of creating the people's journalism. They don't even know what it is. They have no respect for it. They don't follow any of the standards or guidelines. Vigilante and, and malicious style rhetoric has become a cornerstone of the movement and certainly of conservative media. And there are consequences and responsibilities when you, can, when you sort of broadcast that hate 24-7. After spending more than a decade at Media Matters, Eric Buller's latest project was an independent newsletter he launched called Press Run, where he continued to share his observations into the way that both the right-wing media ecosystem and the mainstream media work. We often benefited from his thoughts and expertise when he joined us on this show, and I, along with so many others, were just shocked, gutted, and saddened to learn that he passed away this week at the age of 56, when his bike collided with a train in his hometown of Montclair, New Jersey. The tributes have poured in, including from former Daily Show host Jon Stewart, who said he greatly admired his passion and tenacity, and Hillary Clinton, who wrote that she will miss his critical work to counteract misinformation and media bias, but a loss. In addition to his insightful work, Eric Buller was also just an unfailingly kind, gentle, sweet person, by loved, beloved by those who work with him, those who admired his work, and of course, most of all, by his wife and two children he leaves behind. I learned a lot from him, and he is going to be deeply, deeply missed.